How's it going, everybody? Wanted to make a video. Hopefully, this might encourage someone not to harm themselves, not to fall upon their own sword like Saul did. And the Old Testament, like many others have done, like many samurai, Japanese warriors have done to retain their honor. Um, and like many police officers and other warriors, modern day knights that uh, have done so because of their circumstances and because they they deem it more honorable, perhaps, or uh, for other reasons. But before you pull the trigger, before you, very few people actually fall on their own sword today. Before you do that, I had an uncle that would always say this. He would always say, if a man had time, had a few more seconds, or one more second to contemplate, to think about the outcome of committing suicide, he wouldn't do it. That's, and that's spot on. That really is. Because if you think about it long enough, you think about the consequences of it. Yeah, it would be, it would be over, right? Everything would be over. Your problems would be over. Um, but who would have to clean all that mess up? Uh, and I'm not, I'm not just talking about brains everywhere or blood everywhere. I'm referring to the after, aftermath of your final action on earth. Uh, your final act on earth. And so me being a former police officer and a soon-to-be returning police officer because I've had enough of working for for tips, right? I love tippers, right? I'm going to put that in my shadow box and hopefully never wear it again. Or perhaps save it for some other time in the future. But enough about me talking about suicide there was a point in my time in, in my life where I contemplated it just like almost every other person that has lived upon the face of the earth has contemplated suicide before and those that say that they haven't are probably rarely telling the truth or they're lying. Think about, if you have children, think about what they're going to have to go through. Okay? Think about, um, think about why you want to do that and, and, and why you wouldn't want to do that. Think about the many pleasurable times that you will have if you decide not to do it. Think about how if if your life is just your situation is so horrible that you don't see any other way to to pleasure yourself. You're literally pleasuring yourself by by falling upon your own sword by killing yourself. 
think about all the things that you enjoy to do, that you enjoy doing. Think about how you'll never be able to do those again. If you enjoy the love of a woman and you're not married, but you want to be married, or you want to find a woman to to be intimate with, think about how that's never going to happen again. If you never had children and you want to have children, think about how that opportunity will not become, will not manifest itself because of your death. If you're not financially uh, ready to pay those final expenses, think about what that's going to do to your closest loved one, right? That would obligate them if they decide to do so, and most people do, to pay your final expenses. Uh, don't worry about the credit card company, <laughs> right? Uh, because you know they're they're not losing anything. Um, don't worry about your mortgage, right? If you haven't paid your house off, they're not going to lose anything. The banks, all all of their stuff is insured. You know. <laughs> Uh, that's a weird joke, but anyway, or, or weird sense of humor, right? It's kind of dark, but uh, yeah, think about how how you won't be, you won't have the chance to be intimate with another woman again. Um, if you're heterosexual now, if if you swing the, if you play in the same league, uh, just think about that. You know, think about how you're not going to be able to 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 enjoy uh, uh, those things, whatever whatever they do. And uh, and this experience in life is is extremely hard at times. But the opportunity to look forward to great things, to great experiences, to love, to, to enjoying your 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 favorite beverage. Um, to enjoying your favorite whiskey um, or a cigar, or even some good cigarettes, you know what I mean? If that's your, your thing or your or tea, um, enjoying your favorite food, it, it's going to be, and the seasons of life, you know, the, the, the summer, winter, and autumn, and all those experiences are going to be gone. And you don't realize how that affects a family because back in the olden days, it was considered a curse and a curse upon the family. But nowadays it's, it's, it's a loss. It's, it's, it's a look, look at it like this. You're a member of your tribe, right? Whether if you, if you're white, if you're black, if you're Hispanic, whatever, right? Whoever you are, right? Purple. Uh, <laughs> uh, you're a member of your tribe, and whether you realize that or not, and that's the reason why a lot of people lack that support is because their 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 tribe is no longer united anymore. Uh, the only people that I know that nowadays that have tribes are the uh, the Africans, right? The authentic African Americans, not the ones that have been here for hundreds of years that still call themselves African Americans, right? You don't see me calling myself a um, Indo-European uh, you know, Dutch you know uh, you know what I mean, you get the point Germanic American, you know, you, you don't you don't see that, but anyway, it's it's, it, it's, it's whatever on that that's another video, but Think about all these 
wonderful, beautiful things. If you like to drive, you're not going to be able to drive anymore. And if you have children, you won't be able to have good times with them anymore. You won't be able to, to give them advice, you know, sound advice. You won't be able to, to make up for the times lost, you know, while you were out there slaving or you're out there working to, to, to make, make a better life for them and, and, and to provide for them. You won't be able to do that anymore. Uh, if you're retired, you won't be able to to enjoy your your time off. You know, uh, your freedom, uh, your freedom from from slavery, uh, from your obligation. You know, if, if if you think it's slavery, but yeah, you know, it's just an example. You know, I know a lot of I know a few folks that have uh, put in their time working for. A automotive uh, company and they were treated decent but in reality many of them sacrificed their lives for the automotive industry and they had to sign waivers uh, you know because they were dealing with harsh chemicals and, and all that stuff and so it, it, it's a struggle but you know life is a struggle but you have to look forward to the positive, positive moments, you know. And and this is something I was thinking about the other day. Is if we, if we, we would think dur during the good times, right? During the good times, if we would remember, just remember, just for a few seconds or or a minute, or half a minute, that following the good times, always following the good times. There's always bad. There's always bad times. And that isn't a negative thing. That's that's being that's being uh, uh, real because um, that's being truthful because there, you can't always have good times. Um, and those that say they always have good times, that's a lie because it, it's it's um, it's a seesaw. You know what I mean? It's just, this this life is uh, brings us good, bad ugly and and uh, ugly times and and it's full of hardship and uh, so think about it think about it before you pull the trigger think about it before you fall upon your own sword do what is right and realize that this life, yeah, it has its ups and downs. Yeah, it's tough at times. Um, but we have more good times than we do bad. So anyway, hope it helped you out. Hope this video helped you out. Uh, if it did, leave a comment. If it didn't, still leave a comment. And uh, whatever you do, I hope you make the best decision in life. And uh, yeah, there's some stoic information for you. Some thoughts uh, to help you get through life, get through the hard times. And, uh, you know, hopefully, like I said, you make the right choice. All right. Have a good day.